Our dear parents, fellow teachers and students, welcome to Davao Christian High School's recognition program. The school year 2021-2022 has ended, and so today, we are gathered to celebrate our success and remember God's goodness and favor. 各位老师, May we request everyone to pause for the invocation by Mr. John Paul Loren, which will be followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem and School Song. 接下来, 有请John Paul Loren, 老师领导, 接着唱, 国歌和校歌. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for this time that you have gathered us. Thank you for this moment, Lord God, as we celebrate, Lord God, and recognize the achievements of students, Lord God. We pray that you guide us, Lord, as we go on through this program, Lord God. May you be glorified in the midst of us, Lord God, in celebrating this time, Lord God. And in everything we do, Lord, may you be in the center of it all, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Once again, a very pleasant evening to all of you. Allow me to acknowledge our speaker this evening, our ever-supporting members of the Board of Trustees, our beloved campus director, Ms. Franelli Pableo, our efficient principals, Mrs. Raquel Chan, Mrs. Elizabeth Pasaje, Mr. Desidario Magnaye, and Mr. Brian Lopez. Administrators, parents, students, and to everyone watching, we thank you very much for your time. In this recognition, we are so honored to have our speaker who will be imparting meaningful insights for us to gain significant thoughts, wisdom, and most importantly, appreciation in life. Our speaker for today is a graduate of Davao Christian High School, Batch 2014, where he was awarded first honorable mention. In 2019, 
he graduated magna cum laude at the University of the Philippines, Diliman, with a degree in Bachelor of Science in Architecture. Early this year, he topped second in the Architecture Licensure Exam and topped first in the Master Plumber Licensure Exam. Currently, he is working in Idea Incorporated, a global Filipino architectural design firm at Makati City. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome our speaker for today, architect Lance Nathan Lim. Greetings DCHS students, faculty, parents, relatives, and congratulations. I'm honored to be a part of this ceremony that honors you and your hard work throughout this school year, even if it is through online means. Speaking of online, here are some other words you might be tired of hearing of by now. Pandemic, quarantine, new normal. With all these words you constantly hear in the news, you're given this impression that we are going through uncertain and scary times. Times full of tragedy, loss of productivity, and loss of opportunities. People have thoughts like, how much longer do we have to endure this? Will things ever get better or even what would my life have been if it weren't for the pandemic? Even today, with signs of things getting better, the future is still uncertain, and that alone is enough to make people anxious. There is no doubt that everyone has faced challenges due to the pandemic. For many people, each additional day of the pandemic causes them to lose motivation, feeling that everything is somehow out of their control, and eventually lose hope for a better tomorrow. But somehow, there are the few who, despite the challenges, are thriving, have become much stronger, and owe their growth to the events of the pandemic. Many people, when faced with challenges, get discouraged and can't seem to get back up. But you aren't like most people. You are Davao Christian High School students. And the unique mindset that you are building in school today is a unique mindset that will keep you persevering to tomorrow. People often don't realize that success most often comes after failures and trials and challenges that they went through prior. This is certainly true to my life as well. But how do you build a mindset that perseveres through any trial, big or small? especially when there seems to be no hope at all, or no hope in sight. If there are two points of the mindset that I'd like you to remember most from my sharing today, it would be these. Do your best, trust in Him. What does it mean to do your best? It means to not just settle for passing, to not study for exams at the last minute, and to not just do the minimum work required. Doing your best means to be proactive, to aim high and go beyond what the teachers require, to ask questions when you don't quite understand some lessons, and to aim to improve yourself even just a little every single day. It also means that you are not to be scared to fail, but you are to embrace your mistakes as opportunities to learn and become better. And it often requires you to push yourselves to try new things outside of your comfort zone. Ten years ago, when I was a 14-year-old high school student in DCHS, a public speaking competition event needed a representative which no one wanted to volunteer for, and so I was chosen. Being very shy in high school, part of me was really nervous at the thought of speaking to hundreds of people on stage, but Another part of me wanted to take it as a challenge to learn and grow as a person. And so I spent every day after school for a few weeks practicing one-on-one uh, -on -one with my teacher who taught me how to speak and how to connect with the audience. But even during the event, during the actual speech delivery, I remember still being really shaky and really nervous. It was not an easy journey at all, but I definitely did my best. And getting first place pushed me today to become even more confident, not just on stage, but with 
people in general and maybe love writing and sharing my experiences to people through opportunities like this one today. Do your best trust in Him. What does it mean to trust in Him? It means to recognize His daily presence in our lives, leaning in on Him in circumstances, especially the ones out of your control, as well as looking to Him for both guidance in small and big things that you face every day. When we say to God be the glory, we acknowledge that He alone deserves credit in the end, being the provider of the gifts, talents, and opportunities to do these things in the first place. And ultimately, it reminds us that He is a sovereign God looking out for our highest good, allowing good and bad circumstances to shape us to become better. And we can accomplish more and persevere with that peace of mind, especially in times of uncertainty. Although I graduated after the pandemic started, I experienced pandemic online learning, like all of you, uh, preparing for the architecture board exam. It wasn't only difficult learning and studying alone in my room for months and years on end, I also had to face the uncertainty of the board exams themselves pushing through. It was a cycle for about a year. I would leave work to prepare for the board exams only for it to be postponed five months later and me having to go back to work, losing all momentum and having to start reviewing all over again later. About uh, a year and a half of this cycle, when the time finally came for the exams to push through, I found out about a week before the exams that I needed to test negative in the PCR test or else I would have to take another six month break before I could take the next exam. It all culminated to a peak level of anxiety for me some days, some nights prior to the exam. My parents, uh, siblings, and I decided to pray for things to go smoothly, but much more importantly, acknowledging that whatever happens, He promises that all things work together for the good of those who love Him. And I believe that that instant sense of peace that I had that night allowed me to really do my best in both architecture and master plumber exams and I've truly been blessed with results far more than I've ever imagined. Do your best, trust in Him. Apostle Paul uh, pioneered and established many early churches, like the Bible says, but faced incredible amounts of persecution and suffering. He went through stoning, shipwreck, imprisonment, and even had to deal with the daily stress of nurturing these early churches. He had literally every reason not to continue and to give up with his mission. But yet, he still persevered and wrote many letters that have been foundational to our Christianity belief today. In every circumstance, he could persevere in whatever tough task God gave him because, as Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Him who strengthens me. Do your best, trust in Him. Through this pandemic, your generation has gone through what no other generation has. Despite all odds, not only have you survived the trials, but have thrived in it with this ceremony as proof. Now, there are more challenges and trials to come for sure, but what will make you different is the mindset that DCHS students have. Cling on to the promise that God uses these trials and these challenges to mold you and build you up. And honestly, if you take that to heart, that will fuel you to really give it all in whatever you do. Nothing can or will hold you back because you have God on your side. And in the end, you're doing it all for His glory. Today, we celebrate your achievements and encourage you to keep persevering like you already have. This pandemic has no doubt leveled you up in ways you might never have even imagined. And I'm excited to see where this perseverance you have today will one day lead you to do great things for the Lord. Congratulations to everyone, and truly, 
To God be all the glory. And now, let us proceed to the most awaited part of this occasion, the reading of merits and presentation of academic honors to the pupils or students who strived hard to excel academically in the different disciplines. 现在我们将要承认中英文前年段优秀生 We will now have the reading of merits of Nursery 1 by Teacher Darlene De Los Santos and Nursery 2 by Teacher Jeanette Ravelo. Ladies and gentlemen, the Nursery 1 and Nursery 2 Merit Awarding. 有请Darlene De Los Santos女士和Jeanette Ravelo女士 呈现幼儿园优秀生 Nursery One Apple Charlie Noah Yu Gotamko Self Smart Sean Louis T. Lau Number Smart Danielle F. Pan Self Smart Yuna E. Cho, Word Smart. Harper Elise T. Mack, Word Smart. Kaylee S. Romero, People Smart. Helena C. Zhang, Number Smart. Ruying Momo Zhang, Picture Smart. Nursery One Peach. Jet Marshall L. Alejandrino, Word Smart. Jeffrey Chen, Number Smart. Emilia J. H. Chan, People Smart. Maria Svetlana T. Molina, Self Smart. Samantha Bliss B. Tinoy, Picture Smart. Nursery One Graves. Max Evans X Chu Body Smart Ryder Chance L Ui Word Smart Amanda Isabel E Fernandez Body Smart Yubin Joy K Go Number Smart Alexandra Margaret Luis C. Lim, People Smart. Q. Zachary L. Santiago, Self Smart. Anastasia Maya Y. V. People Smart. Nursery One Lemon. Travis Owen O. Cabigo, Word Smart. Blue Cyrus G. Yi, Body Smart. Audrey Claire S. Co, Picture Smart. Arabella Keen S. Dia, Body Smart. Chanel Avarici T. Cinco, Number Smart. Nursery 2 Durian. Dong Hong Bin, Determined Kid Award. Duero Ethan Gabriel D., Inquisitive Mind Award. 
Hermosa Alexander Dwayne S. Batang Magalang Award. Molina Marcus Kawai T. Extra Miler Award. Goko Jody Maxine T. Task Champ Award. Davis Maria Victoria T. Enthusiastic Learner Award. Sabado Savannah Kate D. Task Champ Award. Siao Isa Yoshiko P. Courteous Kid Award. So Adriel Kaylee C. Task Champ Award. Te Maria Isabella V. Task Champ Award. Nursery 2 Lychee. Balaga Christoph Amadeo G. Sparkler Award. Liam Peter Edward Jr. M. Budding Scientist Award. Go Julian Michaela N. Task Champ Award. Ibarra Alessandra Samantha Sunshine Award. Lee Yasmin Isobel B. Task Champ Award. Tampus Jeannie Glenn B. Cheerful Soul Award. Nursery 2 Mango. Ong Jaren's John Y. Star Reader Award. Si Huko Jose Kaido L. Task Champ Award. Tagima Cruz Kelsey Runel. Tiny Tidy Award. Batukan Gia Corrine J. Enthusiastic Learner Award. Lucas Chloe Elise H. Courteous Kid Award. Nursery 2 Blueberry. Go David Caleb A. Mr. Congeniality. Lee Felix G. Meet Kid Award. Autod Zeus Dimitri P. Star Reader Award. Chen Chen C. P. Graceful Dancer Award. Espero Catrice Alexandria Celine J. Good Communicator Award. Lizares Carly Feliz A. Courteous Kid Award. Machitar Alexandria Grace L. Awesome Attitude Award. Mangudadatu Ismin Zainab M. Go Getter Award. Saw Jody Dominic B. Sunshine Award. Tan Micaela Cassandra B. Exuberant Heart Award. Tan Ruben Therese A. Inquisitive Mind Award. Nursery 2 Strawberry. Antuke Christian Max Out of Your Shell Award. Dormal Robert Cedric Word Weaver Award. Gingging Grayson Pete M. Star Reader Award. Togiani Zach Matthew G. Task Chomp Award. Boreros Mina Lucia T. 
Good Listener Award. Ku Carly Janeline and Task Champ Award. Laurel Athena Maricar Natalia Y Budding Mathematician Award. Sakamas Adriana Jenna O Cheerful Soul Award. Taranza George Isabella L Sparkler Award. Nursery to Mangosteen San Juan Ethan J's R Eager Beaver Award Anthony Candice Jaira D Determined Kid Award Barinaga Phoenix A Task Champ Award Kapatan Riley Claire L. Sunshine Award. Laburada Alicia Madison S. Prudent Worker Award. Makala Sayida Rochelle M. Busy B Award. Mossot Serene Elise A. Go Getter Award. Congratulations, Nursery 1 and Nursery 2 pupils. As we end this part of the program, we would like to recognize and appreciate the parents of our dear preschool pupils who supported their children since day one of our online distance learning. Thank you very much. Stay tuned as we continue our recognition program in a short while. Thank you.